Hey guys, welcome to the Chemex Brewing tutorial here at Coffee for Everyday Use. We're going to add 26 grams of medium coarse ground coffee to our pre-wet Chemex filter. I want to make sure that filter is pre-wet so that no paper taste gets in there. We're going to zero out our scale and now begin blooming. We're going to start pouring our water in the dead center of the slurry and begin passing out, making sure we touch all of the water that we've just poured. I want to pour between 30 and 60 grams on this one and then start our timer. As we get to 30 seconds, we're gonna begin pouring our water. We're gonna start in the center of that slurry and spiral outward, making sure that we wet and saturate all of that coffee. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on pouring a pinwheel spiral continuously until about one minute. We are pouring our water in rather quickly in comparison to the V60 brewing guide because we want to add a lot of agitation and turbulence into this brewing method. Now between 1 minute and 105, you want to be at 300 grams of water and then stop pouring. From 1 minute to 105 to 1 minute 30 seconds, we're going to stop pouring. This is what we like to call a pulse pour. We're pouring some water in, we're stopping our pour, and then we're starting our pour all over again. Now, at 1 minute 30 seconds, we're going to begin pouring to 1 minute 45 seconds. We're only going to add 100 grams of water in this to make it 400 grams. So a lighter pour is required and is necessary for this portion of the brew method. At 1 minute 45, you should be at 400 and then stop pouring. Drawdown should occur between 3 minutes 15 seconds and 3 minutes 45 seconds. And that's the Coffee for Everyday Use Chemex Brewing Method tutorial. Happy brewing!